Hello everyone, welcome to GameTech UK and another Elite video. Now this video is concerning the T-Flight HOTUS 4 and some helpful information for helping you to decide to purchase it and some also helpful information once you've purchased it. Let's get in and have a look. So straight off the bat, um, do I like and recommend this joystick? 110% yes. Um, when I first started playing with the controller, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I just could not do it. I fell out of the slot backwards, um, literally fell out of the slot upon takeoff um, live on the stream. It was funny. Uh, I just couldn't do it. Now that, that's not saying you can't do it. There's nothing wrong with the game. It's me. I'm a PC gamer now and I've spent years on the keyboard and mouse and I was already playing Elite on the PC with the other Thrustmaster, the T16000. So muscle memory um, played a part and when I got the controller, I was just like, oh, this, this just feels wrong. Um, but if you're buying this, don't be put off by that. Plenty of people play it with a controller. It's not a problem. Um, but this... This is the way to go. So if we have a look around the actual unit, um, it, it, it's nice and sturdy. It is a steady, sturdy, sturdy unit. If we start by looking underneath, um, it actually comes with a really, really helpful Allen, Allen key because you can screw these two units together and you can unscrew them and move them apart if you, if you want them sitting either side of you. I actually like it together, so I, I've actually screwed it together, but it does come with the Allen key and you can unscrew it. Uh, also comes with a joystick uh, resistance so you can literally turn that um, and feel the resistance in the actual um, in the actual unit itself um, vice versa you can you can unscrew that it becomes very very loose I've got it quite tight and it feel, it makes it feel makes it feel sturdier more expensive more solid um, so that's that's what I've got it on so that is the underside of the unit it's uh, USB only so obviously you haven't got um, uh, to power this unit it is USB only which is great just plug straight into the front of the PS4 in terms of the throttle now the throttle works really really nice there's a definite central position um, it's you can see actually it, it springs back to its central position um, which is absolutely awesome now I'll show you my other Thrustmaster I've got now this is what I use uh, on the PC version now um, the weakness in this I find is that there's no central position no central position at all it's fine I've got it as um, full throttle only so it's literally all the way back um, it's okay but I, what I do like is um, the central position this has got so it's a very very solid right that's it back and forward in terms of controlling your actual ship, you've got the yaw, um, pitch and roll all on this right hand joystick and it's absolutely intuitive. It, it's awesome. I, I mean, I love the control of the ship. The thrusters itself, so you've got, you've, as I say, when you're going into the station, you've got the yaw and you can pitch and roll. Thrusters are dealt with by these four buttons here. So you've got up and down thrusters there and left and right thrusters there perfect so you're, you're throttling and you can literally thrust up and down left and right totally intuitive there, there's no this feels so natural the second you plug it in it's absolutely awesome there is a bit of an issue with um the triangle being all the way over there it it's fine you get used to it um i would have liked it maybe on a closer position there one gripe I've got with this unit, and it is a bigger mission, there's no headphone slot, so you're going to need to have your, your controller next to you with your headset plugged into that, if it isn't a wireless headset, of course. Uh, but if you've got a plugged-in headset, you're going to need your DualShock 4 controller sitting right next to you with your headset on. Such a shame they didn't include a headphone jack. One question I get asked quite a lot with this, how can I look around the cab? Because on the DualShock 4, it's got an awesome feature where you can literally just move the controller. It's brilliant. You can do it on here and it's totally intuitive as i say and totally fine you got this uh, it took me a while to work it out actually you got r3 which is sort of when you're on this end of the joystick um it's sort of hidden you don't really see it it wasn't until someone pointed it out to me um that's what i'm telling you so r3 you hold down r3 and move the thumb around the uh, the pov hat on top um, and just literally move that around and that will you know that will literally do your head look so that is a nice little feature your um, primary fire and secondary fire is all on the joystick. So that's primary and second there. So that's nice and cool. Um, exactly to hand and exactly where you need it. 
one thing to take into account when you're turning on your PlayStation 4, now this is very important. Um, when you turn on your PlayStation 4, if you're turning it on with the DualShock 4, the DualShock will be the primary controller. This will still work, but it won't work as a HOTUS. Now I found this out myself when I went to take off um, and as I say, the, I've turned the, the PlayStation 4 on with my controller, so that was the primary. Suddenly, the part that I've just explained to you, uh, where this is up and down thrusters, becomes weapons, becomes weapon fire. And uh, <laughs> it didn't end well for me. What you have to do is, and do this every time, go into the controls, um, the control section of your game, of the actual Elite game. Go to controls and make sure that the HOTUS is selected from the drop down menu. If it is, it will work perfectly. It may have already defaulted to classic, but it's no big deal. You, the, the point that I'm getting across with this is you don't need to go in and do all key bindings. As this comes out of the box, it is absolutely perfect. And like I say, I use the T16000 and, and on the PC version, um, I've had to configure that to exactly how I want. This beast literally out the box is absolutely perfect you don't need to touch any part of this controller at all so that's it everyone just a couple of snippets of information about this hotus i do recommend it it is a nice bit of kit you can separate it i like mine together it's got a nice weight behind it most importantly it improves Elite Dangerous on the PlayStation 4 tenfold. And if you have a look, I'll put a link up to a, a recent live stream. Have a look at the comments. Everyone's in there saying it's fantastic. I'm glad I got one. Some people brought them on the recommendation of seeing it in action. Because uh, when I do the PlayStation 4 stream, I actually have the camera on the bottom. Um, so you can see this in action as well. But a great bit of kit. Total recommendation from me. And I'll see you in the next one.